Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within, where we are defending Earth under the leadership of yours truly, the incompetent Commander Dyer. Everyone's probably gonna die. <laughs> just look at just look at the soldiers. Just look at these soldiers. Four of them are wounded. Four of them are wounded. That's that's not good. That's really not good. Okay, well, research is proceeding pretty well. Two more days for experimental research to complete. Engineering is also proceeding quite well, although, unfortunately, I made the incredibly incompetent decision to delete my power facility when I didn't need to. So I am... my hands are tied and I cannot build anything until my thermo generator completes. As soon as that completes, I'm going to be able to build a bunch of stuff, and I will. But at the moment, I can't do anything other than wait for the genetics lab to finish. And, of course, the thermogenerator. But yeah, the genetics lab is the only thing other than the power generator that I have built. And can build. Well, my soldiers have risen through the ranks. One of the last things I did was because one of my soldiers... Or actually, I think multiple soldiers finally reached the position of, what, sergeant? Yeah. I actually have three sergeants. I believe that was a, the level of soldier training the level the level of the soldiers the promotion I don't know I don't know what you call that but yeah that's the level that the soldiers needed to be able to actually buy something from the training school and I purchased a bunch of stuff including squad size 1 which will allow me to have 5 soldiers instead of just 4 on a mission and of course I'm going to get squad size 2 and unlock the ability to have 6 soldiers as soon as I can because that is extremely important very very important you pretty much want to do that as soon as you can. More soldiers means, well, more guns with which to kill aliens. It's pretty much as simple as that. Of course, it does mean if your whole squad wipes, you've now killed more people, but your chance of dying is much lower if you have more people to begin with. So, it's just better. Now it's time to wait and hope to God that my soldiers come back to duty from their wounds, recover from their wounds before I encounter something else or I'm kind of screwed because I think I have three people that aren't injured and actually have a rank. Yeah, which isn't too good. I don't want to take two newbies, two rookies on a mission, but I might have to. Let's wait and see. Experimental warfare done. All right, what does that get me? Foundry available, Reaper rounds, Flashbang Grenade? Ooh, Phoenix Cannon. Oh, I think the Phoenix Cannon is for the aircrafts. It's a more effective weapon, which, this early in the game, I really don't need. <laughs> Look at this research report. Codename, Skunk Works. That does not sound good. Reaper Rounds. Experimental Ballistics have led to this specialized convention weapon load. Let's see. Extra damage to affected targets. Uh, but it's less accurate. Less accurate. Okay, that might be good for my assault troopers. More damage, but less accurate. But the accuracy of the assault troopers is really not too important because they're usually up close and personal. Foundry. Develop new items or improve current items. Okay. Massive burst damage. But his limited range puts the interceptors at risk during combat. Mm -hmm. Don't need that yet. Flashbang. Hold on, is this flashbang new? Because I do not remember a flashbang being an enemy within. I mean, uh, enemy unknown. I think this is new. This grenade-style weapon emits a disorienting flash of light with accompanying sounds. Any enemies that can see the blast will be disoriented, suffering severe penalties to aim and movement. Robotic and psionic enemies are immune. Hmm. That sounds quite nice, actually. Okay, what next? Alien nav computer. May lead to improvements on our ability to detect incoming UFOs. Beam weapons. I would like new weapons. Honestly, new weapons sounds a lot more important than improvements to my, to my ability to detect incoming UFOs. So let's go with beam weapons. 
And back to waiting. Oh, fuck. I don't think my troopers returned returned to duty, did they? Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. I don't think they did come back. Okay. Well, I can do a very difficult mission. Hell no, not with my squad of full of newbies. So it's got to be one of the easy ones. Let's see, scientists or money? I kind of just want money. Yeah, I'm going to go for money. Because I'm greedy like that. Okay, yep, we're going to have two rookies. Which means it's time to name two more troops. Okay, well, I'm going to have a pretty large squad of at least moderately trained people, which is quite a bit larger than I had when I played Enemy Unknown. In Enemy Unknown, I don't remember exactly what my squad size was, but I remember I did not really have... I didn't have very many, I just, I had a very small troop, a very small group of soldiers, and then I just trained them very well. Which was kind of dangerous. I don't think I had more than a couple extra troops, and at the moment I have seven. Um, seven ranked troops, so this will probably make two more. Alright, well, let's go. Let's customize. Okay, next viewer name from the randomized list is... Soul. Just one name, so I'm going to just replace this person's last name. S-O-L. Which I suppose you could also interpret as shit out of luck, but let's hope that's not what it means. So else or LC Soul, however you pronounce the first name. I'm just gonna call her Soul. German, what should we go with? Let's go with Spanish. All right, let's go with something ridiculous. Is that a backwards hat? I, c I can't see the back, but I yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a backwards hat. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty silly. Let's go with that. I'm, I'm sure that huge helmet that you can't even see through is going to improve your aim, right? Oh yeah, I'm sure. It doesn't even matter what I set her hair color to, you can't even see it. There we go. That looks good. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. You're going to be one of my finest, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. It's not like the aliens... I mean, the aliens sh will never see you with with your the color of your armor. No. Y you'll just blend right into the background. They'll ignore you. You'll be like a shadow. You'll be like the wind. They'll never know you're coming. Okay, what do, I want to, what do I want to give you? You don't have a class. Because you're only a rookie, so... What do I give you? Hold on, does anyone I have right now have a medkit? Alright, you're a sniper, so you have that. Ar armor, armor. Those are two assaults, so they really need the armor. So let's get some medkits in here. Unfortunately, my medic is... Ironically, my medic is wounded. Which blows. So yeah, let's give you a medkit. Let's also preemptively give you a medkit. Unless... I could give her a grenade. Mm, I'll give you a medkit. Alright, let's customize you. So, the next person on the randomized list is... I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this, so let me just type it in first. I... Uh, Ventus... Ventus Wings? Or Ventus Wings? Ventus Wings? I have no idea. Maybe I'll just call you Wings. That sounds good. Yeah, I'll probably just call you Wings. <laughs> the first name. Ying. Ying Ventus Wings. Something about that sounds funny. Okay. What should I do with you? Could go with the could go with the battle fedora. 
but Spectre already has one, so no, let's go with something else. That looks kind of cool. What color? I can't decide. <laughs> I'm gonna make all my soldiers look like Oompa Loompas or something. There we go. Oompa Loompa color. Green. There we go. Yep, she's gonna blend right into the background as well. They'll never see her coming. Perfect. They're actually the most colorful ones, the two new troopers I just made. Wow. And there is Sergeant... What's her full name? Sergeant Isabella Socks Arrow. That is a beautiful name and a beautiful nickname. Okay, let's get going. This mission is rated as easy, so it better be easy. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. Current updates from the ground indicate the aliens are moving within the city limits. We should get down there and secure the area as quickly as we can. Oh, should we? We should do this quickly? Well, I guess you won't mind if I just stay here for like five minutes, huh? <laughs> do, 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 do. Taking our time. We don't need to save these people. I don't give a crap about them. Oh, yeah. Do 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 uh, do do okay I'll go. Fine, fine, fine. I'll do my job and defend Earth. It's so boring though. Central, big sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, big sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Copy that, big sky. This is big ground. Copy that. I copied everything. I control C and I control V'd it. I copied everything. I've got it. I even saved it. I even backed it up. I put it into the cloud. Everything has been copied. Oh, that's right. I'm playing a game. Um, what am I doing? All right, two meld canisters. Full cover. Can I see the meld canisters at all? Sometimes you can see them in the in the fog. Which honestly feels like a bit of a hack. I mean, I mean, obviously it's not a hack, but it feels kind of cheap. Because you're obviously not supposed to be able to see them. Maybe I shouldn't go looking for them in the mist. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Of, of my ranked troops, what do I have? I have a sniper and then I have two assaults, right? Right, got arrow. And... You? No, you? Yeah, and smith. I don't even remember what I gave these people. Arrow, you have a lot of abilities. What did I give you? Let's take a look. Plus 10 critical hit chance per enemy in sight. Forces the first reaction shot against this unit each turn to miss. Okay, so she can run out. Even if a bunch of people are overwatching. Okay. That was the big one. The first reaction shot misses. Very important. You have a scope and the badge of badass. Okay, just re-familiarizing myself with everything. Well, let's move my assaults up. And let's start assaulting. Meld? Meld? No meld. Oh, this is actually a really big map, isn't it? It is big. It's really big. Oh my god, I've never seen it this big before. Location. Keep my sniper in the back. Leave him right here. He's got a pretty good view. Can you go on the roof? No. Nope. Alright, so my newbies. As much as I want to protect my newbies, the truth is I really need them to get into combat so that they can actually get their skills up. So, I need to give them an opportunity. So, come on, wings. Why don't you go up here? Let's take a peek inside. Ooh. It paid off. There's a meld canister. 
Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll send my two newbies alone to go take the melt canister. That'll be perfect. Nothing could go wrong. Truly nothing. Uh, wow, that's full cover. Okay, I'll take it. Three turns. Okay. I really should back them up, shouldn't I? I really should. But maybe they can handle themselves? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna back them up. Yeah. I want them to get experience, but I want them to get experience killing enemies, not experience dying. Alright, two turns. I need to get this pretty quickly. In fact, that might mean I need to get it now. Do I need to move someone to it now? I think I do. Okay, so let's get someone to dash to it. Here we go. You can dash to it. Should I do that? This sounds really bad, but I almost want to send one... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, viewers who have their names on these troops, on these two rookies, but... I really want to send one of the rookies so that I don't endanger my own person. Go for it, Wings. I believe in you. There's undoubtedly enemies out here. Or, no? Wow. No enemies, okay, never mind. I was gonna get eyes on the situation and have everyone back, uh, back her up, but don't even need to. Okay. Oh, you can get on the roof. Perfect, hello, sniper. Hey, Dresden. There's some cover. Perfect, wow, look at that, he could really sprint. Oh, and there's the other melt canister. Actually, this is perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna put him up there. Well, he might discover some enemies there, but... Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Get some eyes on the situation. Perfect place for a sniper. No, still no enemies. Alright, five turns. Let's look in here. Nothing. The longer it is till I see enemies, the more creeped out I get. The tension just builds. Alright, so this is going to be the next point to go to. So, how do I want to approach this? Are there multiple entrances? Could I just jump over that stuff? Or do I have to go in the front? Because I'd like to get some flanking positions if I can. I don't want to be forced to be funneled through here. Actually, what we should do is just shoot from above, because we'll have the height advantage. And there's a lot of full cover. Even, like, right here, and here, and here. Yeah, so let's move everyone up. Heading to that location. Target acquired. Oh, didn't want to discover enemies just there. I was hoping to avoid that, but I got a little bit too close. No, you can actually see them. Of course, he has a shotgun, so his chance to hit is pretty bad. Is it even worth it to shoot? 30%. Hmm. Hmm. Not really. What the hell? Um, what's going on with this body here? <laughs> Look at this body that's been taken over by, like, goo from the aliens. What the hell is it doing? Um. Is it having a dance? I don't think it's dead yet, aliens. Oh my god, aliens! It's not dead yet! Finish the job! Look, he's in misery. <laughs> what the hell? It's stuck in the ground and it's... Oh my god, its leg is like broken and just... It's like it's made out of jello. <laughs> oh, it just popped out. Okay. Now I think it only has one leg stuck in the ground. 
Okay, you, you keep gyrating there on the ground. Have fun with that. What the hell was I doing? Um... Oh yeah, I was trying to figure out, in a situation like this, is it better to overwatch or hunker down? He is in full cover. Are they likely to move? Because if they're not going to move, then overwatch is pointless. Yeah, just hunker down. Why don't you move up? But not into the line of fire. So sh oh shit. Well, she's still not in the line of fire, so she should be fine. Alright, Arrow needs to get into the battlefield. Let's... Uh, she will be... She could be shot at from here. Not from here. I'm still not sure if she can jump. Can she jump down? Yes, she can jump down. Okay, that's good. So I'm just going to put her right here. Once again, she'll be safe from any fire. Unless the enemies radically relocate. Who are you going to shoot at? Ah, uh, He wasn't half cover. Mind meld? Is that a mind meld? Yeah. Uh, and the one that's doing the mind melding is so far away, there's no way I can kill it. Not yet. So I can't get a two for one. Holy shit! Dresden! Fuck! Dresden! He's not even in a critical condition. I can't even revive him. He was a... Huh? I'm so sorry, Dresden. You're a sniper and I put you on the roof and I thought it was a good idea, but apparently it wasn't. Actually, where's the cover? Why is the cover invisible? There was cover up here. What the hell? The cover's gone invisible. I swear you were in cover. It was only half cover, but oh my god. I didn't expect a fucking critical six damage hit from a sectoid. Jesus. My first loss. Dresden, why? I shouldn't have sprinted him there. <sighs> Alright, give me this freaking meld. Who did that? Who did the critical shot? I didn't even, I don't even remember who did it, but I want to blast him in the face with a fucking shotgun. Was it you? Who did it? Alright, I can't get a flanking shot. Ah, Dresden. Alright, let's move you up here. 51, 45, let's go for you. Excellent. Good job. You might get a promotion yet, Wings. Let's see if we can get you a promotion, Soul. The one doing the mine meld is back here. I would need a running gun to take care of that, though. Hmm. I guess just pop over one square and take a shot? It's probably the best thing. 66, yeah, pretty good chance. Alright, come on my purple stormtrooper. You got this, you got this! Yeah, critical hit! Good job. I think you've probably earned a promotion as well. Okay, two more to go. I don't even have to worry about the melt canister, I can deal with that in four turns, no problem. I think. I could run and gun and take you out, that would be good. Ah, oh, Dresden. 14%? No thanks. Alright, I want to get into position close enough to run and gun. The sectoid doing the mind meld back here. 
So let's move you here. Let's do this. Yeah, bust out of that window. He ain't got no respect for windows. Hell no. Oh shit, I lost sight on this one. Where was it? Wasn't it right, like, right here? Yeah, it definitely is, because you can see it doesn't even allow me to move here. So it's definitely there. Alright, let's just run and gun it. Yeah. That actually... Huh. If I'm here, I think it might get a flanking shot on me. That would be bad. Unless I move it here. Yeah, okay, that'll be fine. I'll just move it right here. Yeah. Here we go. Perfect. Flanking shot and totally protected from the other side. Goodbye. Boom! You are awesome, Arrow. Overwatch. You think that's gonna protect you? You think Overwatch can protect you, you little fucking shit. Well, guess what? Do you know what I have? I have Arrow who... Is, is it Arrow? The one that has the lightning reflexes? Ah, oh, damn it, it's Arrow that has it. Forces the first reaction shot against this unit each turn to miss. I just used her. Damn it, I thought it was Smith. Never mind. I was gonna run out and just, like, totally dodge. It's Overwatch. But, nope. Well, I can't even run and gun close enough. Doesn't even matter. Alright, percent... Oh, 45 actually is not bad. Can I move to a more advantageous position? I could get closer, but then I would not have my height advantage. I'm not sure if that would end up with a better percent chance to hit or less. So, just take the shot. Come on, prove yourself, soul. Oh. Nice. All mission objectives completed. Well, as much as that was a victory for everyone, for everyone aside from Dresden, the loss of Dresden makes that makes that mission a complete failure to me. <sighs> XCOM operatives lost. Rating, good. No. No, XCOM, that was not good. Operation Fallen Heat. <sighs> We need to hold a memorial. Killed in action. Alright, Dresden, I'll get to you in just a minute, but we need to do some promotions. Huh. Isabella Sock's arrow has been promoted again. Lieutenant. Lieutenant Arrow. Well done. Flush or rapid fire. Fire a shot that causes enemies to run out of cover. The shot is easy to hit with, but does reduce to damage. Hmm. Rapid fire. Take two shots against a single target in quick succession. Each shot carries a minus 15 penalty to aim. Okay. So this, what this would do... I'm not exactly sure how that ability works. But basically, the, the decision here is whether you want to have your trooper... Um, your assault soldier be someone who is going to basically support the squad and move targets out of cover for other people to shoot at, or whether you want them to be someone who's just going to go right up close and personal and just do a shit ton of damage. I kind of like rapid fire. Because the minus 15 penalty to aim doesn't really matter if you're right behind them. But can you combine run and gun with this? I doubt you could. So how could you use it? Hmm. I don't know, but I'm gonna go with it. Yeah. We'll see how it works. John Smith has been promoted to... Corporal. Let's see, you're, once again, Assault. 5 defense per enemy in sight. 10% critical chance per enemy in sight. Mm. 
I guess once again, I'm probably gonna go with aggressive. Yeah, I want my... I want my assault troopers to be aggressive. So let's, let's go with that. Wings has been promoted to Squatty. Congratulations. Run and gun. You are assault. <laughs> Yet another assault. Well, I'm sorry to say what I really need are snipers, but it's okay. Soul has been promoted to Squatty. You are a heavy. Rocket. Okay. Oh, a new medal. The Defender's Medal is now unlocked. Meld, weapon fragments, sectoid corpses. Okay. And 200 bucks. Remember, we will be watching. Oh, I know. All right, before... We've suffered a number of casualties and haven't found suitable replacements yet. We need to start hiring additional soldiers through the barracks. Uh, excuse me, Central, but we really don't. Actually, we have plenty. Look at this. I have plenty of soldiers. I really don't need that many. Okay, let's uh, give the medal up before visiting the memorial. Defender's medal. Okay. What power are you going to have? Never panic as a result of allies getting wounded or killed. Medkits and restorative mist heals 2 HP more when used on the soldier. Hmm. I'm going to go with this. Yeah. So heals more. What should it be called? Hmm. The superior healing metal. Yes, superior healing. Very superior. The best superior. The most. Far superior to other superiors. They're all inferior. This one is superior. Who should I give it to? Let's see. I kind of want to give it to Arrow. Because she's badass, but she already has one. So let's spread the love. Hmm. Hmm. Who's going to need it the most? Maybe assaults, because they're going to take more damage, probably. Because they're up close and personal. Hmm. Let's give it to... Let's give it to Wings. Here you go. I confer this honor upon you, Wings. The Medal of Superior Healing Medal. Because I put metal at the end of it for some reason. So it is the Medal of Superior Healing Medal. Congratulations! Now... Let's have a moment of reflection. For Corbald Dresden. Killed on 4 slash 10 slash 2015. Due to a plasma pistol from a sectoid. He was one of the best snipers I had. Which wasn't saying much because I didn't have many snipers. We... We didn't exactly get along, I have to be honest. We fought a lot. I didn't exactly like him. But I respected him. And he deserved better. We will remember you, Dresden. Okay, beam weapons, eight days. Engineering, five days for the thermo generator. Nothing to do but wait. And hopefully, before the next mission, my wounded soldiers will become unwounded. I think there's a name for that. What do you call it when wounded soldiers become unwounded? Is that... Healing? Yeah. That's what it is. They become he- Oh, what the fuck? Unchecked alien activity has caused mass, hyster mass hysteria in France. We are in danger of losing them from the council. Shit. Okay. That means I need to take a mission for France if I'm offered the option. Otherwise, we will lose their funding. 
or I need to give them a satellite, but that is extremely unlikely because I still haven't even made another satellite uh, building facility. And in the UK! Wonderful. There's nothing I can do about it, though. I mean, look over here. I... I can't assign satellites. I have no satellites. There's nothing I can do. Manchester police reportedly engage with alien attacks near Town Hall. Multiple casualties reported. Please become unwounded. Come on, come on. Heal, 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 heal. Okay, that's the... Laboratory? The gene lab, I think. Oh no, that's a thermo generator. Excellent, okay. It's time to build some stuff. It's time to build a lot of stuff. First thing, satellite uplink, without a doubt. I need that. Oh shit, that's right, I don't have enough engineers. Ah, uh, I need two more. Okay, uh, genetics lab. What else was I gonna build? I, I wanted to build the mech thing. What was the mech thing? Cybernetics lab? Yeah, there we go. That's for making mechs. Also counts as a workshop for adjacency benefits. Alright, let's build that. Maybe I should make a workshop, because that'll actually give me engineers. It's kind of expensive, though. Plus 10% refund on resources used when building vehicles, foundry projects, and facilities... Alright, I, I need it. I'm just I'm just gonna build it. It's best to invest in this stuff early. It really pays off in the long run, I think. So those will have adjacency benefits, and the laboratory and genetics lab will also have adjacency benefits. How much money do I need for the satellite uplink? Okay, so it's a hundred bucks for an uplink, and I think it's a hundred dollars per satellite, so three hundred dollars is what I want to have on store for the whole thing. Which is about what I have. Maybe I should stop building. Hmm. I'm also supposed to make alien containment. Should I just go ahead and do that? Maybe I should. Also a foundry. Oh, the foundry counts as a workshop for adjacency benefits. So I can put that up here. I don't really want that though. Not yet. I don't think it's that important. I actually don't even I actually don't even know what you do with the foundry exactly. I'm not precisely sure what is offered through it. If I remember right, in enemy unknown, I barely ever used it. I remember one of the things you could do with it was make shivs. Which are some sort of automated like robot that took the place of one of your squad members, but I never used those. I never even I don't even think I researched them. They just, they didn't sound like a good idea. It's like, great, replace one of your squad members with something that sucks. <laughs> Why? I mean, I know you can get them killed and it doesn't matter. You don't lose a troop, but you're still losing money. The money that you invested into buying it, so. I don't know. I'd like to, honestly, I'd like to see someone use the shivs. To see exactly what they could be used for. Because I never use them. I don't even know what they do, really. Or how powerful they are, or how much health they have, or what. I'm kind of curious if they're a... Uh, if you can do any any maybe advanced or cool strategies with them, I don't know. Okay, uh, save money or build something more. It's gonna take ten days for my workshop to be done. When's the council report? Seventeen days. That's when I'm gonna get more engineers automatically. Um. I'm just gonna wait. Yes. Let's see what I can buy. Reaper rounds. Let's look at the info. Conventional weapons only. Okay, so if I get, like, laser weapons, this won't matter. Plus 20% critical hit chance against organic targets. And doubles the weapon's range penalty. Ooh. That's all it does, is 20% to critical hit chance? I mean, don't get me wrong, that's good, but... I was thinking it would be like a base damage boost, but no. Hmm. 
That would make my shotgun... That would make my assault troopers basically useless unless they're right next to the enemy because they'll never hit them. Flashbang. Not sure. Honestly, that's probably better than a smoke grenade, because my troopers are rarely close enough to really be able to make good use of a smoke grenade. Still, though, I don't want to go under $300, so I'll just leave this stuff for now. And let's keep waiting. Ooh. M has returned to active duty. What is this? Laboratory of some sort? Genetics lab. M and Isley have returned to active duty. Yes, I found out that it is not pronounced Izeli. It is pronounced Isley. All right, genetics lab. So can I do something with the genetics lab now? The genetics lab is now prepped and fully stocked. We can begin genetic modification of our soldiers on your order. Hmm. I think that probably costs meld and not money. Let's go check it out. This facility will be the nerve center of our genetic modification program. Our soldiers will receive entirely new capabilities, making them more effective on the battlefields than ever before. As we improve our understanding of alien genetics, the range of available modifications will expand. Commander, the genetics lab is now prepped and fully staffed. We can begin genetic modification of our soldiers on your order. Now, I'm pretty sure that you have to take your soldiers off of active duty for a certain amount of time to do this. You do. Gene mod subjects, yeah, okay. The mold substance has been enormously valuable in advancing our theories on genetic modification. So far, we've been limited to the augmentation of existing human organs. With the latest autopsy results, we now have the option of incorporating alien physiology into our genetic enhancement programs. It may be asking too much of our soldiers. They will be even more capable on the battlefield. Oh yeah, I'm going to be modifying them. You bet. Who cares if it's alien? You know, just inject a little alien DNA, attach some organs. Who cares? If it makes you more effective on the battlefield, that's all I care about. I mean, no, no, I, I love each and every one of you. And I respect you as human beings, and I would never, I would never hurt you in any way. I have your best interests at heart, I swear. Okay, so I'm going to be taking somebody off active duty. So I'm looking at what I have. I have three assaults, so I have too many assaults. So I'm going to take one of my assaults off. Yeah, because I really don't need three assaults. That's kind of insane. Let's go with the... Um, I want to leave Arrow in the game, so let's take Smith and Wings. Smith? Okay, yeah, let's see what we can even do. And will it even tell me how long it's going to take them off of duty? I'm not sure. Alright. Uh, pupils, adaptive... I remember this is the one that seemed amazing. Wound recovery time is reduced by 66%, which is pretty awesome, but that's not the thing I'm most interested in. I'm interested in the soldier regenerates 2 HP per turn. That's amazing for assault, because assault is going to take a lot of damage, obviously, getting up close and personal. Height advantage confers an additional... That doesn't matter. Assault troopers are not really going to have a height advantage. That's more for a sniper. This also doesn't really matter for an assault trooper, so I'm just going to go with... Adaptive Bone Marrow. Even though this is going to put me below 300, I don't care, because I really want to try this. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, about to implant it. It will take three days. Oh, that's it? That's not long at all. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. Thank you. Let's see, do I want to take my other assault? I'm not sure if I want to spend all of my meld. I do have two heavies. Let's take, um... Let's take M. Yeah, let's do something different. Um... 
Is this something I'm really going to use? 10 aim. Plus 10 aim on any shot after a miss. It seems like that would be better spent on someone who can do multiple shots in one turn. Which he can't. It only costs 5 meld though. It's really cheap. I don't know. I'm going to leave that for now. I'm just going to put in wings and do the same adaptive bone marrow. Excellent. We'll begin prepping the candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you when the genetic modification process is completed. All right, three days. And even if we fight someone tomorrow, I'm only down two assault troopers and I still have Arrow left, who is exceptional, so I should be fine. Anything that needs my attention? Research two days for beam weapons. Engineering is still building. I still have eight engineers. Yep, yep, yep. No, I'm good to go. Spectre has returned to active duty. Beam weapons, hello. Laser pistol available for manufacture. Laser rifle available for manufacture. Okay, I don't give a flying crap about pistols, so... I say whatever to that, but this, laser rifle, to you I say hello. Next, um, let's just do the quick, Oh, actually these autopsies are very quick. Let's do these autopsies, yeah, sectoid. I can't believe I haven't done an autopsy on a sectoid yet. Interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. Well, I'm glad you finally figured out they're called sectoids. I've known that for like five hours now. And I'm an idiot! So what does that make you? No, I'm just kidding. You're my researcher. I respect you. Kind of. So let's go see how much those rifles cost. Uh, 12, oh, you need 12 engineers. Okay, well, I'm about to get how many? I think you get five for building the workshop, which, I mean, even if it's four, it's still going to get me up to 12, so, yep, I just need to wait. Back to waiting. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. A little bit alien. We are on the threshold of a new kind of warfare. Our soldiers were already humanity's best warriors. As we learn from our fallen enemies, we can make their strengths our own. Wings has completed gene modification. And following closely behind in, I guess, like two seconds, will be... Infusing the bone marrow with meld will allow our soldiers to regenerate combat wounds while on the battlefield. Done. Okay. Now we have some very powerful soldiers. You know what? I want... Let's, let's do arrow as well. I feel like maybe I'm spending too much meld. I have a lot of it, though. I don't know, it just seems really good for assault troopers. Because they're more likely to take damage. I'm just wondering, though, what are all these, un these locked ones? 
There could be some really good stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna hold off. I'll just hold off for a little bit. It'll be fine. Autopsy should be complete in just a second. Here we go. Uplink targeting aim available for manufacture. Oh yeah, that's right. So you can use that during interception for a temporary boost to our unit's accuracy. So it's like a... It's like a power-up, so you can buy some and just, like, watch the fight between the UFO and your interceptor, and if you think maybe you need the boost, you can click on it. So it's a, it's a consumable. To the Thin Man Autopsy. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, we seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Yeah, I don't think they did a very good job replicating a human. I mean, it's kind of close, but they don't look very human. They're far too thin. And their limbs are just too long. It's very strange. Okay, that didn't unlock any gene mods, right? No. Commander, we've got another contact. The signature is a little bigger this time, though. Maybe I should have bought one of those consumables. We're about to see. Let's hope my interceptor doesn't blow up. Come on. It's a medium, not a small. So, come on. I'm going to abort if this goes wrong. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Every shot's hit, I think. That missed. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Alien crew moving at the crash site. And interceptor sustained, sustained heavy damage in the encounter. Let's go. Okay, who am I bringing with me? Well, I don't want three assaults. No doubt about that. So who's going to sit this one out? Wings or soul? Um, I'm going to have soul sit this one out. So let's see. We Oh, no, wait. Holy shit. Was that my fourth? Do I have four assaults? No, no, never mind. Ne sorry, I got rid of the wrong one. You're a he soul's a heavy. Um, so, let's see. Let's have Smith sit this one out. Yeah. So, two assaults, one heavy. Um, two assaults, two heavies. What else do I have? Well, I need a sniper and a support. Graves is, of course, my biggest support, right? Or is he my only support? He's my only support. Okay, so he's definitely coming with me because you are the medic, right? Oh, I need to I need to free up stuff. Okay, hold on. Let me get everyone in here. All right, I've got to drop either an assault or a heavy and replace it with a sniper. Um, I think I'll drop an assault. Let's give wings a chance to prove herself, and I want to see what her gene mods do, so I'm going to have Arrow sit this one out. Let's put in a sniper. How many snipers do I have? Oh, that's right, there's Spectre and Isley. Uh, Spectre can use the experience more, I think. I think she's lower. Because she just got up to Squatty, so yeah. Alright. Make items available. Let's give you a scope. Obviously, my support needs a medkit. And... Uh, give you armor. Yep, yep, yep. I don't need more medkits than what's on Graves. So... Give my heavy what? Just give them armor, I guess? It's either that or a grenade. 
then, <laughs> since they're heavies, they have a rocket launcher, which I think is better than a grenade. So let's just go with vests. Good to go. Armor, armor, armor. Support has medkits. Sniper has a scope. One sniper. Two heavies, one assault, one support. Yeah, we're good. I have a beautiful team, don't I? A team of Oompa Loompas and badasses. I like it. Wouldn't have it any other way. Let's just hope we don't have another have Dresden no incident. That was traumatic. Ah, oh, Dresden. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. It looks like the UFO went down in a densely populated area within the city limits. Let's just hope everyone on the ground stayed clear. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Now, let me familiarize myself with my unit's abilities once again. Since they've been out of commission for so long. You are a heavy, you have badge of badassery and hollow targeting, right? So if you shoot at someone, it will increase everybody else's chance to hit them. Got it? And of course you have a rocket. And you're also a healer, right? No, no, you're not the healer. You are. Yes, field medic and covering fire. What's covering fire do? Allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. Okay. Good to know. And you are my... What were you again? You're heavy. Yes. Okay. And you're a sniper and you're an assault. Got it. I think. Maybe. Maybe. Well, assaults go first. As always. Two meld canisters. See how big is this map? It is absolutely massive. And unfortunately, there's not all that much good cover. That's not within dashing distance. I pretty much have to dash if I want to make any good progress. Well, I want to go up to get the height advantage, so let's start moving up. Yeah, this is shit cover. This is really bad cover. Where the hell do I even move? Here, I guess? Just move up a little bit. I, I don't want to dash. Oh, here we go. Who'd you see? Whoa. Wait a minute. Wings saw them, but they didn't... I, I thought every time you discover an enemy, they always react. But... They didn't. Interesting. We see them, they don't see us. You're my sniper, so you're not going to be able to shoot anything. So I might as well just get you into good position. Even if it's dashing, that's fine. See, so the thing is, I'm not sure if she can move over to the side from this square to shoot over here, or what? Or do I have to move here to be able to shoot? Okay. I'm gonna assume you have to do that. Hunker down. You're my support. Ah, I don't want to dash. I really don't want to dash. they want to move, they're going to take some damage. And the last one. Who is a heavy? There's not really much room here to take cover. Try to put her there. 
See if she can shoot over the corner. And Overwatch. I wonder if they're gonna move. They are, okay. Right. All right, meld canister over here. Oh, I see it. Got it. Okay, let's just move down this alleyway. Or should I go from above? No, let's go down the alleyway. Assault leading the charge. Target confirmed. On our way. That's what we're looking for. How many turns? Four turns. Okay. Got to charge over here pretty quickly. Remember, I don't actually need... I don't, like, desperately need meld. So there's no reason to take huge risks just to get it. I'll, I'll take moderate risks, but not huge ones. I'm not gonna, like, run out into a field full of chrysalids or whatever the hell they're called when we encounter those later in the game. Just to get a freaking meld canister. It's not worth it. Totally not. You know, I could have you provide cover from up here. It'd be a height advantage. Yeah, why don't you do that? Excellent. Alright, let's go grab... Should I grab it now? I don't really need to. Meh, I'm gonna do it. Roger, Dodger. Open fire. If I had to hazard a guess, oh shit! Based on its profile, I'd say the aliens developed this unit with the intention of tracking and isolating single targets. It appears to have a sophisticated evasion system as well. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. Oh, thank you, Doctor. Okay, so that's a new enemy type. Was not an enemy with uh, enemy unknown. New to this expansion back. I believe they go stealth, as you just saw, and they tend to attack enemies, or they tend to attack uh, friendly units that are kind of, well, isolated. Which, thankfully, none of my people are, so we should be okay. Depending on how much damage they can do when they first come out of stealth, though. I imagine when they come out of stealth, they basically have a guaranteed hit, because they're probably going to be right next to you, right? So, I don't know. Let's just keep everyone fairly close together. And maybe have some overwatch, so if they do come out of stealth, we're good. I'm going to leave you up here. Yeah, you should be okay. You should be okay there. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> and let's do some overwatch. I can't. You can't move and fire this weapon at the same time. I'm not trying to move and fire this weapon. I'm trying to move and overwatch. But okay, I guess I'll hunker down. You can overwatch. Oh, there we go. Overwatch. I'm glad I did that. Please kill it. Or you could miss. That's... That's a thing, too. Uh oh Strangled. Okay, so it doesn't do any damage yet. Oh, okay, I think I'm getting it, so... Or did it do damage? No, no, it did do damage. Okay, so I guess how they work is that they try to attack solitary units, if there are any. In this case, there aren't. And then they strangle them and they do damage over time. So in other words, if, an, if a unit was distant from the rest of your squad, you would have to get there as fast as possible to avoid them from dying because they can't react. They're strangled. You, you can't use them, right? Yeah, you can't do anything with them. 
Okay, thankfully this should be very easy, obviously. Let's have my sniper take a shot. Let's do a headshot. Excellent, Spectre. Eight damage critical. Catching breath. Achievement unlocked, taking a load off. Okay, can she use her turn? Wait, what the fire? No, fire what? What do you? Stop. No, I want you to collect this. No, don't, don't fire. What are you doing? There we go. All right, there's still one more. Well, meld canister and also one more of those things, not to mention a group of sectoids. Oh, I see. The the catching your breath debuff thing seems to prevent you from really moving. And the two damage that she took, thanks to superior healing uh, adaptive bone marrow, is about to be healed. So just go ahead and overwatch. Hmm. Could get some high ground. No, I don't really want to split my people up. Okay, just overwatch. Let's just move up a bit and overwatch. Let's move you down. Let's get some eyes on that corridor there. There we go. There's the sectoids. What is that sound? I think that was the sound of one of the seekers. Alright, I might lose that other meld canister, but... That's fine. If it happens, it happens. That is a very strange route to take. But if you really want to jump on the roof and then jump back down... I'm okay with that. Why don't you go there? And you are kind of separated from the group, so I need you to move. I could use a smoke grenade here, it'd be kind of a perfect situation in terms of getting four different people, but what's the point? There's really nothing to protect us from in particular, so... Uh... Just overwatch. I really want to know that other, where that other seeker is. I know it's out there. Oh, did I just hear it? Yep. It has one hit point left. Spectre's about to get strangled. Uh-oh. And there's the sectoids. Okay, well you needed to... Oh god. Is that... Oh no, no, I was looking at the enemy's health. I thought, I thought Spectre had one hit point left. No, she's fine. I could just blow them up.
Can I get both? No. Damn, I can't get both aliens. That would be so fun. Suppression. I forgot that you even had suppression. Hold on, what does that do? Reduce the target's aim and takes a free shot if the target moves. Huh. No need to use it, though. Chance. 84, 10. Alright, why don't you blow that up? Good job. Oh, wait, what about you? Oh. <gasps> this is gonna be fun. Watch this. Kaboom! Two sec toys and a shit ton of cover blown up. That leaves one. One little sectoid. Somewhere around there. Come on, you want to show yourself? I'm waiting. Let's put you into... Let's have you hunger down, because you're damaged. Okay, it's... Oh, I lost the other melt canister. Oh, well, it's fine. I need some eyes on the enemy. Where could I run and gun to? I could run and gun around the corner if I needed to. Unfortunately, I blew up the cover, which doesn't work out too well for me. Almost wish I didn't do that. Alright, go ahead and move here. Where is it? I didn't need to move I need to move my people up. There's zero reason to rush though, because there's no metal canister left to lose. So I can take my time. No pressure. Let's go around this way. Double time. Oh, there you are. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I've used her entire turn. Also, I thought your adaptive bone marrow was supposed to heal you. Where is it? Soldier regenerates two hit points per turn up to the HP max. Oh, up to the HP max without armor. That's why she's in healing it because it's not without armor. Yeah, that's two hit points of uh, of armor damage that she's taken. Okay. Okay, can I? I could take a shot on that thing. It probably would die, most likely. Actually, I might even be able... Can I? No, no, I can't take a shot with you. And I sure as hell can't do one with you. So, let's... Let's just kill that thing. Yeah, 72% chance, that's fine. Come on, soul, don't let me down. You let me down. You totally just let me down. Okay, we need some overwatch. We, we badly need some overwatch here. Unless, could he take a shot from here? Oh, he can. Okay, hold on. 70% chance. Yeah, I'll take it. Come on, Graves. Oh my god! You're letting me down, squad. What are you doing? You're supposed to bring your A game, but you brought your F game. I, I would have settled for a B game, but not a freaking F game. Come on. Let's just move you somewhere safe, but near. She's there. Oh, 
Oh, it's actually running away. That, that's perfect. Ah, ah, it's panicking. Okay, it's dead. Probably right about now. 49, hmm. I could just blow it up with a rocket, but that would be incredibly over the top. <laughs> but it would be fun. Who can even take a shot at it aside from him? You can. Yeah, that's not bad. Hold on. Covering fire. Reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. Yeah, I'll take it. There we go. Okay, so there's still enemies left. But where? Oh right, it's a UFO. They're probably probably inside of the UFO. That would make sense. <laughs> that would very much make sense. Okay, let's give her, let's get everyone moved up and then reload. Got it. Moving. Yes, though. And we might as well do some healing as well. And you are my healer, so... Why don't you go ahead and heal wings? Enjoy this healing mist. It even smells like mint. Just gonna reload everyone. Alright, you are completely empty. I should probably heal Spectre as well. Or should I... Mm, or should I save it? No, I should probably heal Spectre. Yeah. Just gonna take it easy. Nice and easy. No meld canisters to worry about. Okay. We'll go. There's like no full cover here, is there? Nope. It's all a bunch of rubble. Keep you a little bit back. Alright, so it's best to avoid using a rocket inside of a spaceship, inside of a UFO, because you will probably destroy components that would be useful to you. It's actually the same for killing enemies. The more you use rockets and stuff and grenades and explosives on enemies, the less recoverable stuff you get from them. But it's especially true with the inside of a UFO. Like, if you destroy the core or whatever, you won't be able to recover that, and that's worth quite a bit. Okay. 
Cuidado. Let's just go ahead and wait here. Get Spectre into a into a high position, which is excellent for a sniper. Got a lot of hunkering down here. Okay. Let's see if we can find some aliens. It's a big ship. Getting it done. No aliens. Yeah, boy. And still no aliens. Once again, the longer it takes to actually find them, the more tense it becomes because I know they're there. And they're gonna pop up any second. I have my sniper overwatch. Kind of packing my troops in tight here, but it should be fine. Yeah, I don't think that's a problem. Because at the moment in the game, the enemies do not have grenades. If they did, then this would be a terrible idea, but they don't. So, it should be fine. Okay, they're coming from here. I can already see in here and I don't see them, so they're probably through that doorway. Moving to position. Yeah, okay. Let's push up. Let's get inside. Just gonna leave that door closed for now. Wait. She has the shredder rocket? Wait, that can't be right. I never I never would have picked that though. Cause I don't like that. I remember being presented with the option between the shredder rocket and something else. Did I accidentally pick it? Strange. It's eerily quiet. Alright, let's have you open this and let's see what we have to work with. Oh, it's right there. Well. Well, this should be easy as hell to deal with. What kind of a shot do you have? 64%. Hmm. And you're being flanked. Why don't you go ahead and... Hmm. I could just run and gun it. There's probably no need for that, though. Let's just try this. Well, that actually missed. Here's your chance, Spectre. Come on, let's get you some... Let's get you some training. You also missed. Which doesn't surprise me, because you were trying to shoot through the wall, which I wouldn't expect to work. 74% chance. Come on. Nicely done. Everything by the numbers. That went pretty well. Operation Black Crone.
Spectre's wounded for four days. She'll be fine. Hmm. A new badge of badassery. And now I can do a Seeker Autopsy. Ooh. Oh, look at that. I got 104 alien alloys from that mission. 15 Alarium, 3 Sectoid Corpses, 2 UFO Power Source damaged. 4 Flight Computers. And a couple Seeker Wrecks. Hmm. Alright, let's give out that medal. What does that do again? Plus 5% aim against enemies in full cover. Who should I give it to? Hmm. I don't even know. What the hell? Let's give it to Graves. Gideon Prophet Graves. This is for your excellent service in the line of duty. Good job. Also, Gideon Prophet Graves. Where are you? I would just like to say that your beard looks like you took some blue pixie dust, covered your face in honey, and then just like, just like poured the, the blue pixie dust all over your face and it just like kind of clumped and stuck to your face. That's what your beard looks like. It looks like stuck on pixie dust. What I'm trying to say is it looks really shitty. Come on, man. I mean, grow grow a good beard or just or just shave it. It's okay though. I still love you. Now, can I get squad size two? No, I need a captain. Okay. Research is continuing. Engineering still has eight engineers. So nothing to do but wait. I think. <laughs> 